Today's how-to is really just a little bit more information about guide codes. And I'm gonna focus on two guide codes in particular. We've got the dry guide code from ProXL, which is a powdered form. And then we have the dry guide coat through an aerosol can from Upol, which is the Guide 7. The other two are okay, they work, but the two in the middle are definitely the better performers. So I'm gonna demo the two guide coats on these areas. This first one, I will freshly prime, and the second one has been primed previously, but I have put 240 grit scratches in it. The main reasons for using a guide coat are to show any high or low spots in your repair, or any scratch marks. A powdered guide coat, like this one from ProXL, is very good. It's ideal for larger areas, but can be a little bit messier on smaller ones. The foam applicator transfers the dry powder from the container onto the area that you want to apply the guide coat. Once you've applied your guide coat, you can sand it either dry or using some 800 wet and dry. This is my preferred method. As you start sanding it, you will start seeing any low and high spots. This is evident because the powder will be left in the low spots, making it darker, as you can see here. You may have noticed I'm actually using a soft block to sand this dip back. And the reason for that is it helps me keep the shape of the bumper or the area that I'm repairing. And all you want to do is keep sanding it so you get rid of all the darker areas which are the low spots. You want it to all be a uniform grey. Like this. Next we're going to talk about the guide coat from Upol. It's the Guide 7. This is definitely my favourite aerosol guide coat. It's easy to use, it's perfect for small areas. You can use it in a controlled space and it dries incredibly quickly. The repair from here to get you high and low spots is exactly the same as the previous one. A little bit of 800 on a soft block, some water, and straight away you'll start seeing any low areas or areas of imperfection. Repeat the process until you get the desired level finish. Great, so that's hopefully given you a good insight on a powder dry coat and an aerosol dry coat, how they work and what you can expect from them and why they are a great benefit to your business. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them over to me. I'm always happy to answer them. Um, put a comment down below. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please check me out. It's at Damage Undone. There's loads of stuff on there, loads of little banter and interactions we have. But yeah, as always, thanks so much for all your support. Take it steady.